Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel IT Planet. If this video is helpful to you, then don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button. Here on this channel, you will get all the exercise solutions of your computer book and some computer tricks and you will learn also some technology based tricks. So don't forget to subscribe the channel IT Planet. Here in this video, we are going to see the exercise solution of class 6, chapter number 9, that is Python introduction. In that first, take the correct answers, first question. All Python keywords contain lowercase letters except true, false and none. So the answer is lowercase. Operators are the special symbols that carry out arithmetic and logical computations. The answer is operators. The values operated by the operator are called operands. Number four, data types define the way to store the values in memory. The next second B question is write T for true and F for false statement. First is Python is named after Monty Python's Flying Circus, a comedy program. <clears throat> this is true still. Python is not a case sensitive language. This is false statement. Then next statement is Python interpreter never ignores the text written in comment. This is also false statement. Single quotes and double quotes are used to represent strings in Python. This is true statement. Initializing variable means to assign a value to an identifier. This is true statement. Input function always returns string value. This is true statement. So these are the true false. Next, fill in the blanks. Number one, <coughs> filling in the fill in the blanks. Number one question. You can also press F5 key to run a program. The answer is F5. Keywords are the reserved words in Python. Literals are the data items which never change their value throughout program run. Next number 4. Python uses indentation to express the block structure of a program. When we type a statement in IDLE, Python executes it and displays the result. Next question number D, define the following. In that first is token. Token is the smallest element of a program that is meaningful to the interpreter. Tokens supported in Python include identifiers, delimiter, delimiter, keywords, literals and operators among others. Number two, that is operator. Operator is a special symbol that carries out arithmetic and logical computations. There are many types of operators in Python like arithmetic, relational, logical, assignments, etc. Number three, that is comments. They are used to explain Python code and make it more readable. Python interpreter ignores the text written in the comment. Next question number E that is differentiate between the following and we have to write difference between keywords and literals. So keywords are the reserved words in Python and cannot be used as constant, variable or any other identifier names. There are 33 keywords in Python 3. Literals are the data items that never change their value throughout the program. Throughout the program run are called literals. Literal means any number, text or other any information that represents a value. Next question number F. Question number F is answer in one to two sentences. 
who developed python and when python was founded by godo van rossum in early 1990s what do we mean by identifier a random name made out of letters digits and or underscore to identify a function name a program name or a memory location that is variable or constant is known as identifier next question number 3 what are variables variables are used to store data in the memory the data can be numbers text and or objects number 4 what do you understand by line and indentation a python program is made up of one or more physical lines each physical line may end with a comment and indentation is an empty space at the beginning of block of code python uses indentation to express the block structure of a program so these are the question answers to friends subscribe the channel for more videos right next question number g that is answer briefly in that question number 1 how many data types are used in python explain in detail so data type is used to define the type of value a data can contain the data type in python are number 1 integer integers are the whole numbers consisting of positive or negative sign without decimal points such as 1000 and 88 etc second type of data type is float float data type represents floating point numbers which contain decimal points for example 0.5 minus 4.567 0.001 etc next data type is string it is a sequence of characters character means alphabets numbers operators and punctuations used to store and represent text based information single quotes and double quotes are used to represent strings in python define input and print functions in python so input and print are used for standard input and output operations in python input is used to get input from user this function helps user to input the values and text for the operation input function always returns string value and print is used to print the value of given input value or string it helps to show output on screen and the last question that is h question application based question is here riya has written a program in python in which she has used input function for giving input value of a variable after executing the program that value is a string not a number she wants to convert this string into number by which function can she do so so the answer is riya can do so by using int function so friends This is the exercise solution of class 6 chapter number 9. Once again I will request you to subscribe the channel and thank you for watching this video. Bye bye take care.